but which my colleagues have asked about, namely the conscience rights of, of, of physicians. And I believe you were on television in uh, Quebec, and I believe I heard this secondhand, so I may have it wrong, that you, test of, that you, your indica you indicated that that would be a purely provincial jurisdiction. Would you elaborate on that, if I've got that right? It's a very relevant question. Okay, in terms of conscience rights. Now, th this doesn't fall under criminal law. It falls under uh, uh, the medical code of ethics. So it's really the medical profession that determines how ph physicians are supposed to behave. And I think that these, this issue of conscience rights should not be dealt with under criminal law. They should be dealt with uh, through the provincial law and the code of ethics and uh, medical practice. And I think that it's, well, in, in Quebec, end-of-life care um, includes clauses about con conscience rights, which are very clear. And there, there are similar uh, things in, in other provinces as well. The problem with having a federal uh, uh, provision about conscience rights is that then they could come into conflict with the provincial rules. So I think it's better to leave it up to the provincial colleges of physicians to de determine that. They understand the context, they understand the uh, standards, uh, the professional standards, and I, I don't think we should deal with that under federal law. We already made some comments about this, but we were simply saying that I think that we should let the provincial colleges of physicians, uh, let them regulate it and let the provinces deal with it. I think we already have enough to deal with here uh, with the criminal law.